morning guys. I'm feeling good and I'm gonna go and line drive my mini today with all the right equipment. Maybe not the bridle yet. Good morning guys and welcome to today. I got my riding hair in. Got my riding pants on because it's I a actually, riding day for all of us. We're gonna ride. Gabby, are you in your coach's clothes or your riding clothes? She's on the couch. Are you riding today? I said coach. Oh, but you have to ride too. You're gonna change later? All right, she's already in birthday mode, you guys. Relax city. All right, it feels like spring again. Hi. Hi, Tino. Hi, Storm. They stand and watch the door. They're like, are you coming? Hi, Finny. People think you're not a morning person. Say hi. Ah, hi, you've been laying down in the poo. So I'm the first one. I like it so tired of waiting for the girls. They always want me to wait for them, but then they take 17 hours. I'm done waiting for them. Just joking, I will wait for them for the rest of my life. So, um, fed the cat late last night, and food is gone, so he must be here, or he must have been here. Imagine the life he must lead to just show up at all hours and be fed. Oh my goodness, who is kicking? I bet you it's Chino. Is that you? You better stop, mister. All right, it is you. Don't be doing that. Right. Uh, so tomorrow our farrier arrives. Uh, yes, I hear you. Uh. I feel like I'm gonna get all the horses fed before the girls get here. <sighs> right, here we go. We did it. I did them all. I am so proud of myself. Woohoo! So imagine living in a climate where it's dark all winter for hours every day, and then suddenly the sun comes up and it's still cold, like it's winter cold. It's supposed to be the coldest morning yet, actually, but there's no wind. Once you take that wind away, it feels like much better. But anyway, imagine being in the dark for so long and then suddenly the sun arrives. Oh, it feels glorious, like, it feels glorious. Today, we're gonna ride all day. The farrier comes tomorrow and the chiropractor. They're both allowed legally by law. Uh, we're doing social distancing and doing everything that we have to do. They're coming tomorrow. Can't ride after the chiropractor comes. So we are gonna ride today. I'm gonna ride. We're gonna drive Willow. We're gonna take Chino past the cows for the first time. We're gonna see how far that road really goes. Like today, I'm really, today I'm ready to get out there and get some exercise. Girls still aren't here. I see Gabby fly in yesterday. That was so funny. So this is our poop bucket, our muck bucket. This is our grain bucket for anybody who's concerned we're feeding the boys out of this bucket. Nope. Remember when we had this bucket we used to soak Stella's hay in it? The reason the Chino likes this bucket is because he likes this, this stuff. I think they call it chaff, but he loves the little tiny floaty stuff at the bottom of the bucket. He doesn't like to, it's not necessarily that he wants to eat out of the bucket, it's this stuff that he loves. Oh sure, the girls show up last minute with apples. Hey, we have to let chickens out. I have to tell the chickens off. They weren't going out of their bed and they weren't going <coughs> They were going to go out of the bed. Yeah, you have to just leave them. Just open the door and walk away. <coughs> Stop throwing my chickens. It's not yours, I own the <coughs> You will own none if you throw them. Um, listen, I have a qu uh, question for you. Did the chickens have food and water? Forgot to check. Okay, well we have to check on our way back. Okay? Sometimes I like to clean all this extra stuff up and give it to the boys or the girls, whoever. Mom, get rid of it. Phil's excited, she wants to do line driving. I know, she's standing right there. She's like, let's just go line driving. And then you bring out the halter and she runs away. <laughs> yeah, she's not that bad with you actually. I don't find. Oof, she's so Look at these two over here are starting to get really close again. I feel like I've noticed massive changes over the winter and now with, with her. She's not as spooky anymore. Remember I told you she's our spookiest horse? She's still a little bit spooky. She's a lot better. I feel like more so since only her and Willow have been here. You guys have seen she's starting to stand up to Willow more, right? 
She's starting to feel like she has a say more. I don't know, it's making changes in her though. <laughs> Hopefully they're all good. They seem good so far. Okay. Things you should know on the day by day farm. One, I, uh, Chino seems to have hit a plateau where he's still, I mean, we can't build his muscle up right now because of the weather and COVID and um, so, he still, so he seems to have hit a plateau where he's still a little underweight to me. Smell it. I know, it smells so good. That's the 100% fat. Mmm. And, um, so I've toyed with upping his grain. He already gets, uh, corn bag. 18 cups of grain a day, 18 cups, which sounds like a lot, but lots of people use like this big scoop. We use cups, which are a lot smaller, so it's not too bad. But yeah, he gets, uh, 18 cups of grain a day. I don't want to up it anymore. I don't want to make him high risk for ulcers. So far, so good with him. Um, so I'm going to hold out until the grass comes because I think the grass is going to make the big difference for him. So then I'll readdress in the winter when, you know, the grass is gone and stuff. But I'm going to hold off until the winter. Also, uh, you guys know that we use this UTP and it lasted us six months, the first bottle. And then the second bottle... We did give it to more horses. We give all of our horses it now as a preventative. It's just a, such a nice product. Um, and I found that if I put a pump in there, like this pump, if I put that in there, it's way too easy to over pump. So now we're back. I put it in this little cup and cover it usually. And did you put this in? Did you get a morning and night? Uh, storm does. Oh, well, put it in storms. Um, and so now we're back to this with a syringe because I know exactly how much they're supposed to get and then we're not overfeeding them and we're not wasting it because this is like $200 a bottle almost. You can always tell when Sophie does grain because they get a couple of treats. You might wonder why I tell you guys all the little tiny things we do, like the details like that. And it's because a lot of you guys have been here since before we even, before when I hated horses. And I didn't think they even had a personality. And a lot of you guys have seen us go full circle. And so I like sharing our whole process of learning and growing and making decisions and making wrong decisions, <laughs> which we do quite often. But, um... But yeah, that's why I show everything, like, that's why I show all the little details like that so you guys can see where we've been, where we are, where we're going, where we've come from. I told Finn that I'm going to be the only one leading him. You're going to be the only one leading him? Alright, let's lead them. Let's clean this barn. Okay, so it is hours later and we're back down at the barn. Or at least I'm back down at the barn. Gabby has to get dressed and do her hair. And I don't know where Sophie is, but I have all this stuff. So, whoa, I washed these. You guys saw the pads that go with the halter or whatever you want to call this thing what is this thing called all this stuff it is actually kind of cold out still Woo if you're standing directly in the sun and not moving it kind of is warm but when the wind blows it's cold this is one of my favorite shedders it's just like a blade yeah i straight down something for that and i don't know i do not know if you guys can tell but this girl's really furry she didn't have a blanket on she has got a big coat willow Yeah, Willow, minis tend to keep their hair for a long time. Willow shed me a lot though. I think sucks. No, I like it. Okay, so that's how much you got off in like a couple seconds. 
So I'll follow you around, but I get Yeah, yours is good too. Let me try yours. So today we're taking care of every single horse. It's an all horse day. Grace is being groomed and shed and her hoof feet picked. Um, so that she, just because we don't like them to stay all dirty all the time, it causes like yeast and stuff. So, Hi. and Willow's getting driven. And did she even get her, wait, Sophie, I feel like your hairdo is brushing over into the mini. What the, what the heck happened to her hair? Come on, little missy. Keep going. You remember what to do. Remember, say your words. Remember that video that I said, Gabby, your horse is dead? The first time we saw him laying like that? And then everybody got all upset with us? He might be too hot. Oh, look at Chino standing there guarding him. And Finn, where's Finn? Oh, way in the corner. Finn's in the corner, enjoying life. Isn't Chino a nice boy? Look at how nice he is. Storm's dead part two. Don't come at me, you guys. I'm just joking. All right, we can't see him breathing. Do you guys think it's like <laughs> Usually I say to Gabby, do you think he is actually really dead? Oh, no, he's not dead. And she said, I don't know. We were a little concerned there, Storm, but I saw him move. All right, I'm concerned. I have to go check. My heart is, my heart is beating. Like, uh, today is not the day for a tragedy. I mean, I did see him move, but maybe he's overheating in that blanket. Like, anything could happen. I learned that with horses. I'm afraid. I'm terrified. Oh my God. Why does he look like that? Hi Stormy, are you okay? I mean, the fact that he's sleeping on the hay makes me feel like maybe he's just having a good snooze. Why does he look like that? Oh my God, is he hurt? Oh my God. I'm afraid. What's the matter, buddy? Guys, what is the matter? I don't want to wake him up. Okay. I'm torn between making him get up and letting him lay down because if he gets a good nap before I ride him, then that would be so good for me. All right, I think he's just having a nap. So are we okay? You okay, buddy? Hello, handsome. Now he just looks like he was sleeping. Hello. Hello. I don't see anything hurt. He's just tired. All right, I'm gonna leave you to your nap. Storm, Storm's blowing snot on me. It's his revenge. It's re his revenge. I feel like he's mad at me. Stop. Are you mad because I woke you up? Do you know what's Hi, Finny. Do they look depressed? 
Is he nice and warm? The horses are warm, even though it's sunny and warm outside. But the wind. We took off their blankets and they're actually warm. Hopefully he's not mad at me for waking him up. I just want to make sure. I get Tina waked him because you were there. Yeah, no, I feel like I woke him up. You know how some horses like to eat while you groom them? Like if I put hay down here, Storm could just eat while I groom. He's totally not that kind of a horse. He literally bends his body into it and is like, oh, do it more, do it more. Like he just wants to enjoy it. It's hard for me to do it and video him, but it's funny. Hi, I'm ready to roll. Got my green hoodie on and green saddle pad almost matches perfectly. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness. Give me a little faith, something to make me stronger. Someone who could like the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Almost can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel at home. There's no way I'd ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I'm gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am wake up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine. kind of amazing. Gabby doesn't like giving me lessons though. I think I need to feed her sugar or coffee before. Did you have coffee today? No. Yeah, so she's been drinking them every day and then boom, nothing. That's her problem. <laughs> yeah, it felt so good though. Like, every time I ride him, Storm looks at me like, what? Not you again. And it's because I'm like another beginner, but he's been so patient and so good. And he just keeps looking at me funny. And he did it the first time I ever rode him. He just, yeah, so. But I cantered and it felt amazing. There were a couple of times, like I could feel the stuff I'm doing wrong and I'm able to fix it a little. Like I could feel when my bum was going too, too high out of the saddle. And then I realized like to how to relax my hips and to lean back and be looser. Like you'd be more loose when you canter, right? Like a couple of times what I was doing when I was cantering, I felt like what Gabby looks like when she canters bareback. So good. Yeah, did I look a little bit okay? Like a few minutes? Did I look? Yeah, yeah. Couples? I almost got a good wall, Gabby said. But yeah, like, 
storm's been, storm's been great. Hopefully, like, these, I should do this two times a week. I don't know if my kids can hack it, though. But, like, this is the way to go. If you are having fear, do the lunge line. So many people told me, you need lunge line lessons. But that's not how we're taught here. That's not how our trainers do it. And I'm not going to go up to them and say, I want lunge line lessons. Like, but, and I could be on the lunge line for a year and still feel amazing about it. Like, oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know anybody that could compare to you The way you're always smiling, the way you light up a room I couldn't live without you, not even if I tried Cause every day I'm with you, I'm flying over the clouds Oh yeah, yeah I'm flying over the clouds And I'm not coming down Every time we touch our feet 